Hey there folks and friends, Connecting Dots here. It's Fukushima Day 1195, breaking news fresh off the press. And as I make this video, it's still June 18th, 2014 here. It's roughly about 20 after 10 p.m. on the West Coast. Uh, and this story here is out of China. A French newspaper has translated it. And basically, as you can see here, at June 19th, they're a day ahead. Now, obviously, I'm not going to read it in French. Many of you won't understand, but lucky for you, je parle français. And here we go. I've translated the most important part here on my website, connectingdots1.com, the forum. If you folks want to join, if not, you want to share this information with someone else, I'll keep adding to it because this is not going away here. So the latest research here is from a Chinese research team. They've discovered cesium-134. No surprise there. Uh, anyways, it's a Fukushima nuclear plant marker, so uh, cesium-134, 137, and uh, they discovered it in the western Pacific Ocean by dropping 53 radiation monitoring stations as a Fukushima radiation contamination precaution during a 27-day expedition which covered over 5,500 miles with measurements at times taken at depths over 1,000 meters deep. And I mentioned there how there was no cost to citizens because, well, it was a Japanese research team that, say, that figured, you know, well, we have an ongoing contamination here. Now, this is no surprise. Anyone that's been paying attention to this, just again recently here, it was mentioned the Japanese government reported that Fukushima had released 181 quadrillion becquerels of cesium and Chernobyl had released 105 quadrillion. The difference is Chernobyl was cleaned up and shut down really quick. The difference here at Fukushima, we have an ongoing meltdown three nuclear reactors. Um, TEPCO has publicly uh, admitted that there's 70 million becquerels of cesium spewing out of the three plants combined, one, two, and three. All three reactors combine 70 million becquerels every single hour and 400 tons of highly radioactive water being dumped in the Pacific Ocean. Being dumped every day in the Pacific Ocean. This is an ongoing concern, folks. The Chinese government has taken it so, so seriously that they've started installing 53 permanent, permanent, okay? They're going to observe here. They're going to watch what's taking place here because if you've been watching my videos, there's enough research out there that shows that the dispersion in the uh, Pacific Ocean well, eventually the entire Pacific Ocean will be contaminated, and now the TEPCO has admitted that it's 35 to 45 years before they have this contained. Hello, can you not connect the dots? We have a big concern here. And now if you're still wondering, did it reach the West Coast? Heck yeah! Fukushima Day 1101, not that long ago, I talked about how on a Canadian beach here, up the Fraser Valley, this is Vancouver Island, by the way, this is where I live. I live right on the tip here, city, the city of Victoria. So not too far away from Vancouver, up the Fraser Valley, they went to one beach, the BC uh, Simon Fraser University. They went to one beach, they took five soil samples, and one of them tested positive for Fukushima fallout. Good thing they didn't, ta they didn't take 100 samples, because that would be a 20% contamination rate. They don't, we, they, they don't want people to know just how bad it is, so they, they lessened the story and said it was only one out of five. Now, I went on to say here, why should we be paying, as citizens, paying uh, uh, some private, uh, you know, Woods Hole in Oceanographic Institute $600 to do the testing of the waters? It's very unprofessional, especially the way they do it. They want you to send out $600. They'll send you a, a sampling, a plastic container. You go out to the ocean, you gather up some water, you send it down to them, and they'll test it. Very unprofessional. We don't know what depths uh, the, the samples were taken. We have to, you know, take someone's word that it was taken at a certain location at a certain time at a certain depth. Very unprofessional research on, on Woods Hole Institute, and I just can't believe that they're, they want people to pay $600 for something that's not more than, well, I, in this video here, if you go watch it, I talked about uh, Vermont. They were doing a testing for $55 back in the day, and that was only like in 2010. So it couldn't have gone up that much from 2010. Okay. Are you concerned about season 134? You should be, because the half-life is only two years. We're over three and a half years into this incident, and they've already picked up that radiation, that cesium-134. So it's just to show you, this is an ongoing contamination of the West Coast. I've asked many times here, please take a couple of minutes of your time, just a couple of minutes of your time, contact the Canadian Food Inspection. Send them a little message. Let them know that you're concerned here, okay? You, can, you don't have to fill out everything, okay? There's some information that's required. 
Keep it to a minimum. Doesn't matter. You don't have to live in Canada. You don't have to live in the United States. You can live in anywhere in the world. Okay. Tell me your concern about the West Coast seafood. And while well, I, I wrote a little something here, you don't have to necessarily send that exactly. But if you want to, that's great because they really have to be concerned about this and they have to be brought the evidence because they, they seem to be living in their own their own realm of reality. They don't seem to be paying attention to the news like we are. So basically, if you want to help out, that's great, please. I'd like you to, to send, uh, well, contact them. Let them know. Okay, please. And I've also mentioned if you want to help me out financially, I am plan on buying a testing equipment so I can test for, well, strontium-90, as I mentioned in past videos, because that's my biggest concern here. Yes, cesium is a big concern, but if you watch my past videos, we're going to have enormous levels of strontium-90. Uh, it's coming. I've showed past videos here how the levels have continued increasing. And one more thing. I'd like to finish up with reminding you, if you're a new subscriber or maybe you're an older one and you've not heard this, I'll mention it again. Many folks have mentioned how they don't get their upload notifications. I make a video, YouTube's supposed to let you know, hey, Connecting Dots has made a video. Many folks complain, they don't get it. The best way to find out is to come directly to my Connecting Dots 2 or Connecting Dots 3, because this is my backup channel, Connecting Dots 3 or Connecting Dots 2, and you'll see you won't necessarily see because I've noticed that you know some folks get to see this and other people get to see something different I don't know why but the best way is to come check out my most recent uploads and that way there you'll know for sure you're staying updated with what I put out so as I mentioned here strontium 90 explosion if you haven't seen that one folks this is not going away we have an ongoing problem take your time please and just fill out a little form requesting for them to do some proper testing here on the west coast okay that's it that's your update folks and as i said i'll leave a link to this uh thread at connecting dots one dot com take care folks ciao